A drunk driver crashes through a security fence at Metro Airport. That driver just kept right on going and drove on to airport property. And right now tonight he's in police custody, expected to be charged under the state's super drunk law. Priya Mann joins us live from Metro Airport. And Priya, exactly where did this happen? Well, Sandra, I'm standing at Middle Belt and Goddard. The vehicle crashed into the fence right behind me at around 4.15 this morning. Now, North Terminal is to my left. McNamara is to my right. It appears as though the vehicle crashed sort of right in between both terminals. DTW stressing that vehicle didn't make it anywhere near a runway. Maintenance crews were busy repairing a perimeter fence at Metro Airport Sunday afternoon. Earlier in the day, a drunk driver crashed through the fence and got onto an airport service road. In a statement, Metro Airport says the car never accessed a runway. The safety and security of our airport passengers and employees were never at risk. After driving onto restricted property, the super drunk driver was able to leave the same way they got in. Airport Authority police found the vehicle about a mile away near Middle Bell and I-94. The driver and passenger were taken into custody without incident. Both were cited for breach of security, a violation of an airport ordinance. The passenger was released. The driver remains behind bars. They've been charged with leaving the scene of an accident and violating Michigan's super drunk law, which means the driver registered a blood alcohol content of 0.17 or higher. And we've just learned that super drunk driver is a 52 year old man. DTW says airport authority police spotted him almost immediately. That driver only spent about a few minutes on restricted property before making it back out onto Middle Belt, where he was arrested a few minutes later. Reporting live, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. All right, thank you, Priya.